officers ask that you do certain things when you are pulled over. Action 10's Rebecca Gerben explains. Trooper Mike Esslinger makes countless traffic stops each day he works. And every time, there's a bit of anxiety. You'll get to the back and you just try to observe hands. That's the main thing you do. You'll get up here to a safe spot. And if we make you turn around and crank your neck to look, you know, it's just for our safety. Safety is why officers want you to wait to get your license and registration out until they ask for it. No one likes to walk up to a car when somebody's fumbling around under the seats or in the glove box. It makes us nervous because we can't see those areas. Jessica Royal says she understands the officer's concerns. They want to make sure that you know you're not bending down to get something. You know that you never know what you're gonna come across when you're pulling somebody over. During this stop, Steve Hawkins started to get out of his car, only getting back in after Esslinger asked him to twice. I understand that they're concerned about their safety and, and reactions from the public. Uh, on the other hand, I'm trying to uh, settle the dog down, so it uh, would be nice to get out. Hawkins understands safety is top priority during even a routine traffic stop. There have been too many incidents all over the nation. Uh, local ones heighten or raise awareness. Uh, too many incidents where officers have been injured by or hurt things as stupid as a traffic stop. I have a little understanding about the fact that we don't know what we're up against. You know, if, if a guy comes up and, and asks you, you know, could you please put your hands where we can see him, it, don't take offense to that. That's just our job and we, we don't get paid to get killed. Your cooperation will help keep officers like Mike Esslinger safer when on traffic patrol. Rebecca Gerben, Action 10 News. Within the last year, out of 400 Indiana State Road Troopers, three.